On to the chief editor of Health and Development magazine, we are in the Jojo Brown Convention Center downtown Houston today, Sunday, the 17th of August 2019, as part of the Holo, uh, the Halo uh, event. And with me is Dr. Anna Gardner, xenobiologist and xenolinguist. Uh, what does uh, xenobiology fit, and what is it all about, and how does it fit into the Halo event? Xenobiology helps us understand all of the different alien species of the covenant and how they relate with humans. Um, Xenolinguistics is basically just the study of alien species languages. And with the, with, the, with the event here, how the covenant has affected humanity, and, and we're talking about the Great Schism between the Sangili and with the rest of the covenant up until the human covenant war, and how all of those things help us to get with where we are now. Uh, so, uh, there are things that people don't know, there are beings that humans don't know have existed in history or people assume, all of that. Uh, in a nutshell, what does your study and how does it help humanity? I think if we can understand alien species a lot better, we can have a little bit more respect for them um, and they can have respect for us because we're learning about them. It's like if you, if you would go to a different planet, um, you should learn about know their different cultures and, and the way that they speak so that you show an interest in, in what they do. Um, so for example the jackals, a lot of people really don't like the jackals um, but, but I understand I understand why but one of my favorite things about them is that they are a matriarchal society and that they are also pirates and pirates you know it's not a very positive thing but it's a kind of an interesting thing about the society and because we know how the society works we can understand them a little bit better. What, what is the UNSC and how does it fit in the HALO event? So the UNSC is the United Nations Space Command and it's basically a collection of all of our armed forces coming together and protecting our galaxy against the, the threats that we see coming at us. It used to be the flood and now it's the insurrectionists. Thank you very much.